Hey Raffleitos! Welcome back to my channel. So what I want to do today is to take you on a job with me because like I said, one of the things I do in Guyana is business. I have four companies registered and one of those businesses is called Blueberry Solar and what we're doing in Guyana is we're installing solar panel on households, residential households in the country. And so here we are today, we're going to do some maintenance on a system that I installed two and a half years ago. Right, so I'm taking you on a job with me today so that you can see what it is to run a business in Guyana. I'm bringing you first-hand experience of what it is to come back to Guyana, to launch a business, to acquire customers, to do the documentation and to pay the taxes and all that stuff. And so this is a slice of what that entails. Stay tuned. So guys, today we're on a job and what you're doing is, what we're doing today is we're going to do some servicing, some maintenance on a solar power system, a battery that we've installed about two years ago. I'm going to show you what it takes to maintain a sealed lead acid battery. And these are actually sold by the manufacturer sealed and so you're not allowed to tamper with them. But in fact, if you don't refill them, they tend to lose efficiency, lose the power of storage, and eventually you have to replace them. To extend the life, what we're going to do today is simply add deionized water to the battery. Okay, so this is the battery, right? We have a pair of batteries that we're using. This is a very small solar power system. You have a pair of batteries here. That's the inverter. These are my charge controllers going up to the roof where I have solar panels. So the first thing you do is you have to remove this plate. It takes a little bit of effort, but it can be done. It's actually glued down, so you have to rip it off basically with a pair of uh, screwdrivers, flat screwdrivers or a chisel or something, which is what I used. And then you're going to find underneath, this is a 200 and power battery you're going to find there are these cells that store lead plates immersed in sulfuric acid see the problem is when the battery charges it releases hydrogen gas and that gas can't be contained by these rubber stoppers so you have these rubber stoppers that are meant to stop or cover these cells and to seal the cells shut they placed they glued a panel right they just glued this panel onto the surface and that panel is supposed to press tightly against the rubber stoppers and to keep them from opening the problem is that hydrogen gas is on the pressure once the battery system charges up and over time because hydrogen is the smallest atom on the periodic table over time that gas simply escapes these rubber stoppers so in a year or two the battery gets dry and this is exactly what we found with this battery system so I concocted a little straw to fit into these holes and what I'm doing right now is simply adding deionized water Alright, so I purchased these deionized, liter uh, size deionized bottles of deionized water and, and I'm simply refilling each cell with about three quarters of a liter of water and then I'm going to seal it shut again just as it was before by using epoxy to glue on the cover. And that is in fact going to restore the life of the battery. Possibly not to 100%, but definitely up to about 90% of its previous charging capacity. And 
will probably extend the life of the system for another two to three years. So this is what solar energy installation maintenance is about. I usually offer a five-year warranty on this system when I install it. And so this is at the two-year, two-and-a-half-year point. Probably going to have to do this one more time during the warranty period. But it's a very cheap um, solution to this problem. Cheap because the battery costs about 400 US dollars and just refilling it with water is about 15 or 25, 15 to 25 dollars US. Okay, so that's what solar, Blueberry Solar is doing in Guyana. We're installing residential solar systems on homes, households, and in this case, we're doing servicing on a residential system that we installed about two years ago. If you want to see more content like this, you want to see how business is doing in Guyana, how we're actually growing our clean energy business, even as we um, enter the oil and gas sector with one of the largest oil finds in the world, don't forget to like and subscribe. So this is what the battery looks like unopened. Alright, so this plate, this plastic cover, that plastic cover has to be removed and you can actually slip a tiny uh, screwdriver under these holes and start to lift it up an inch at a time because it's actually glued down tightly in the center and on the sides on all four sides all right so that's the battery it's a 200 amp hour 12 volt jar battery and this is a small system so it only utilizes two of those batteries black is a negative red is a positive terminal and that is the that the job the job is to remove the cover and refill the cells so this one came off a little bit easier because I used a flat blade so I used that flat blade knife to get it under slip it under this panel and this is what came up so there again we have those six cells so each one of these is a chamber filled with acid we have six of them if you listen you will hear the gas escaping hydrogen gas All right so that's the hydrogen gas escaping and what we're going to do is to fill these with water deionized water and then replace the cover and glue it back on with epoxy that's what the finished product looks like we just did that one we're going to complete this one and that's the job for today and there you have it battery maintenance at blueberry solar so guys if you want to see more content like this click like and subscribe and like i said before subscriber count is in fact the name of the game now with youtube uh, so if you want to see this channel sub sub succeed in the future join the notification team click that little bell on the side that lets you get notification every time a new video is launched is uh, uploaded and be one of the first persons to get more information learn more about what we're doing in guyana what we're doing to grow the green economy and install clean energy units on households in Guyana and so today we're servicing a system we installed about two years two and a half years ago and uh, we're just, just going to extend the life of this system for another this the battery spark part of the system for another five years the the roof panels the solar panels on a roof are going to last for 25 years so we actually give a 25 year warranty for this kind of uh, system um, but the batteries and the electrical apply parts of it, the electrical uh, accessories, could wear out over time, seven to ten years, and those have to be replaced from time to time. So, but we still stand behind these systems, and we're going to maintain them for as long as the homeowners use them. And so there you have it. If you want to see more content like this, click like and subscribe, and join the notification squad. And later.